I did my research report on cat obesity, specifically the causes and detrimental effects on cat health. So a little background on myself, I'm an animal science major with a pre-vet emphasis, and I'm interested in companion animals, mostly cats because I've had them my whole life and I currently own two cats. So a little background on cat obesity, just like human obesity, cat obesity is becoming um, a rising problem in the U.S. According to the National Pet Obesity Awareness Day survey, 57.6% of cats are considered overweight or obese in the U.S. Um, specifically, 27% um, of cats are obese, according to that survey. So my rhetorical situation is that I was a website developer for Green Bay Pet Care Company, which specializes in cat products. And we're developing a new website, so I thought that it would be appropriate to include a section on cat obesity because it is becoming such um, a huge problem in the US and customers um, would need to know about this. So a couple of research questions. Um, first, what is the leading cause of cat obesity and what is the most detrimental effect of obesity on cat health? My hypothesis was that reduced activity was the leading cause and that reduced lifespan was the most detrimental effect. So in order to determine this, I looked at a few causes and effects. The causes, um, I looked at spaying and neutering. Um, spaying and neutering can decrease metabolism and then it can also um, increase hunger in cats. Um, decreased activity level um, due to cats um, having more sedentary lifestyle, they're being kept indoors more. And also how um, the food nowadays is very high in calories and it's very highly palatable, meaning that it tastes very good to the cats. Um, for effects, I looked at diabetes, orthopedic diseases like musculoskeletal diseases, um, osteoarthritis, and cancer and cardiovascular disease. So um, sources I utilized were uh, print sources, mostly books from the veterinary uh, library. For online sources, I used the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention website and an online journal article. For empirical sources, I administered a survey to a couple of the companion animal classes here at the university. And I also interviewed a veterinary uh, nutritionist named Julie Churchill, who works here at the university. So all of my sources point to the fact that um, cat obesity is a multifactorial problem, meaning that um, it's not just caused by one factor, it's caused by many factors. And there are also um, a multitude of effects that can result from cat being obese. So although, um, Cat obesity is a multifactorial problem. I was specifically looking at what the leading cause of cat obesity was and what the most detrimental effect would be. So for decreased activity, um, something that Julie Churchill, um, the veterinarian, said was that uh, nowadays indoor cats are becoming more popular. Um, and when a cat is indoor, they're not outside hunting for food and getting that kind of exercise. They're more likely to be inactive. Um, and so in my survey, around 54% of the participants uh, said that they kept their cats indoors. And another 20% um, said their cats were indoors and outdoors. Um, so something else about inactive cats, um, Linda Case, um, in her book, Feline and Canine Nutrition, um, she said that inactive cats are more likely to eat more. Um, and so it was determined that in combination, decreased activity in combination with a diet that is very high in calories, in addition to a decreased metabolism and um, increased hunger would be um, the most um, important factor. Um, for detrimental effects, cardiovascular disease and cancer both had um, pointed to death as like a main um, like effect from it and it resulted obviously in the most reduced quality of life um, from like wasting syndrome like um, losing a ton of weight like not being hungry so in my conclusion I rated all the factors and rated all the comorbid diseases 
As you can see, decreased activity level was number one. Cancer and cardiovascular disease were number one for the comorbid diseases. So there are a few limitations to my research. Um, probably the most important one was that there's just more research on dog obesity because people just, I guess, like dogs more than cats. <laughs> um, and there are other causes and effects that I didn't focus on. For example, um, hypothyroidism and age can cause obesity. Um, however, I chose to focus on more of like the human influenced um, factors like keeping cats indoors and things like that. So ultimate, ultimately, my recommendation was that we should focus on decreased activity level as a major cause in cat obesity, and also cardiovascular disease and cancer um, should be mentioned as a very detrimental effect of cat obesity. However, what I really stressed um, in my report is that more research needs to be conducted on especially the effects of cat obesity. Okay, any questions? Mm. Rachel? Can you go back to the slide where you had the ranking yeah. of the diseases and effects? Oh yeah, this is Rachel. I'm just asking her to go back to the ranking slide. Um, so what did you, what were your criteria for ranking the factors and the diseases? So for um, causative factors, I looked at the prevalence and I um, looked at what factor would um, cause the most weight gain. And then for comorbid diseases, I looked at what disease is most likely to cause death and then um, what disease caused in the most like reduced quality of life. Thank you. Any other questions? Or Beth, sorry. Um, this is Beth Ailing. Did they say like a specific like weight or like how many poundage? I guess yeah, like, was, on the one of them said um, like 8.5 kg. Okay. And that's about like 10 pounds, I think. That's okay. just like another main issue. This is out there like there's not a lot of research on it, mm -hmm. so it was hard to get those numbers. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions? This is Danica. Um, how does spading and neutering affect obesity? So um, a lot of research has been done on how it can decrease metabolism and it can make a cat hungrier. However, um, most of the research was done on male, like neutered males. And it said that about, I think it said like neutered males need like 33% less calories than intact males. Um, but still, there is like also conflicting research saying that they don't, they might not need less calories. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of equivocal, I guess. Like, it, there really isn't that much conclusive research on it. Yeah. Do you think it has anything to do with the energy spent to produce, like, the gamma? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's probably a part of it. Joanne? Um, this is Joanne. Did uh, it say anything about like hormonal controls and stuff with the spain and neutering? Did it address that? I didn't that? really look into and, that. I didn't okay. really look into like the deeply into like the physiological sure. part of it, but that would be interesting to look at. Definitely. Okay. That's, that's it. Was that your cat? No, it was not oh. my cat. I meant to say <laughs> that.